Hi YouTubers and subscribers and welcome to Starry Hilder's Off-Grid Kitchen again. Yes, it is canning season and be looking for more canning uh, videos because it is that time of year and I'm going to share, share, share. So today we're going to be doing zucchini and zucchini is exploding in my garden as I'm sure it is with you. So I wanted to share a really quick and easy and fast recipe to get your zucchini canned and in that pantry because that's what it's all about growing your own food and putting it in the pantry for long term it is, it's just so cool I, I love being so self-sufficient okay so let's get started the first thing we need to do is go to the grocery store okay so here I am at the grocery store <laughs> foods you guys of course I'm not gonna go to the grocery store I am gonna go right into my garden and look at this oh this is so cool we are gonna pick some peppers and look at the peppers okay a week ago I did that update on the garden you I am just look at this bang boom bow bow pow this is awesome so let's get picking some peppers when it comes to the pepper you know what you guys pick whatever you have in the garden and that's exactly what I am doing I've got a couple bananas here I am going to pick um, oh look at I got some great bells and you know just oh this one's probably ready I'm gonna get this one it's going to take 12 cups of zucchini. So I am going to double that recipe and I'm going to need a couple of the peppers. This is how many hot peppers I think I'm going to add in there. And these Hungarian waxes are hot. So you can do a jalapenos, you can do Hungarian waxes, you can do chili peppers, whatever. But pick yourself some hot ones for this recipe. Okay. Okay, and now the other fun part. I love going and picking my zucchini. I mean, look at this. This is just a jungle. And every day I come out here and there is squash and zucchinis. Look at this. <laughs> They're just every day. So I am going to pick, oh, <laughs> look at this monster. Holy moly. And so because I am doubling the recipe, it's actually going to be 24 cups. But look at this beautiful basket. I just come out here, and even though I need zucchini, I am picking just about everything. But isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's like a basket that God touched. Well, he did. He created all of this. It's, oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Okay, and the other thing that I don't really have to pick from the garden, but we had early bolting for our onions. So I've got onions that are ready to go, and the, the recipe does call for onions. If you like onions, grab a lot. I'm just going to add those to my basket. And uh, if you don't like a lot of onions, you don't have to grab a lot. Isn't this awesome? Okay, now let's go get inside and get started. Okay, I'm not going to show you the boring part, but what you're going to have to do the day before is you're going to have to take your zucchinis and you're going to have to shred tw 24 cups, or if you're doing half the recipe, 12 cups of zucchini. Then you're going to add one third cup of canning salt, kosher salt, or I just use my, um, my pink salt. My pink salt is just fine. You are going to mix it up. I've got 12 cups in here and 12 cups in there, and you're going to mix it up, mix it up, and put it in the refrigerator overnight and let it set. When you are ready in the morning, like we are now, you are going to take the zucchini and you are going to rinse, rinse, rinse it, and rinse it again and squeeze it out real good, and now it's going to be ready for the rest of the fresh vegetables. All right, so just so you can see how Starry Hilda works, <laughs> I, I do a little bit of everything. I like to hand chop. i got my big old... Um, a knife that I love and I do chop a lot of things by hand but you can see I also got my ninja I like my ninja um, this really dices and slices I like it so I put my onions in there so I didn't have to dice those by hand um, anything goes with this recipe people just cut up all your peppers and all your onions and for all of you that are concerned with the real recipe you're gonna have it okay so don't don't freak out all right um, and if you want to do like the magical starry Hilda recipe that's fine just throw the stuff in there uh, but let's 
go to the next step here. We are going to take um, the peppers and now the onions, and we are going to add them. I've got my pots over here, and I still have these two separated. I've, this is 12 cups, and this is 12 cups. I chopped up the hot peppers and added those, and I, you know, do that to your taste. And I am now going to add the onions. I'm just, I like to kind of get them as closely separated as I can. And then I'm going to run over here, and let's gather up all those fresh. <gasps> I love it. Oh, I know. And I know um, a lot of you are probably laughing. <laughs> I know you're laughing at how I do this. Um, and you're going to be bringing out your your measuring cups. I love it. Bring out your measuring cups. Use the recipe that I post because it is a tried and true recipe. There we go. Doesn't that look beautiful? And then what we're going to do is we're going to put it in our stock pot. Okay, and now this is where you have to follow the recipe to a T. I have mixed. Remember, I'm doing a double recipe, so I'm doubling everything. You are going to need two and a half cups of sugar if you're doing the 12 cups of zucchini. And if you're doubling it, you're going to need five cups of sugar. Now, I will tell you this. I'm not big on sugar. But... For a recipe like this, this is what makes it sweet, people. And as you see, I'm scooping out. We got three, four, and yes, I'm probably going to put in, yeah, I'm going to put in all five. Because that's what's going to make it sweet. And then you're going to need, um, same thing, white vinegar. Uh, two and a half cups for the half recipe. Uh, five cups for the whole recipe. Right, and then I use turmeric. And... Um, this is good turmeric. Actually, I got this at a discount store for half nothing. I haven't even really used it. It's going to take one tablespoon of the ground turmeric. Remember, one for the 12. And you're going to have to double it for the double recipe. I like doing big batches. If I'm going to can, people, I'm going to can. So that's why I like doubling this stuff up. And then it calls for some um, a teaspoon of celery salt. But what I'm going to do instead of, um, I'm, I have my own celery that I dried. So you can do the um, one teaspoon or two teaspoons, but I'm just going to throw in some of my celery flakes, okay? Oh, I'm, I know I'm deviating. Starry Hilder is deviating from the recipe. There she goes again. And then you are going to take some nutmeg. See, nutmeg, can you see that? on camera there and you're going to do a tablespoon if you're doing the half recipe and two tablespoons if you're doing the double. These are the secret ingredients that really give it a pop, you know, like nutmeg. Who would think like nutmeg in a recipe like this was going to make it taste good? And then we need good old-fashioned cornstarch. And the cornstarch is going to thicken it up. So you're going to need four tablespoons of the cornstarch for the half recipe or Eight for the big recipe. Okay, right, guys, let's before get cooking. we start cooking that zucchini mixture, make sure you get your canner ready with your jars. These, um, this mixture has to be ladled into hot jars. So what I do is uh, today is one of these days where I'm using my open uh, a fire. Um, little thingy dingy. I don't have a pit. I don't have a rocket stove. I just think for practicality, this setup is is so awesome. I just need a couple cinder blocks. I use a little bit of wood, and I use a, a super big grate. And this grate, actually, I can move the cinder blocks out and put lots of pots and pans on here. So that's the beauty. Okay, and now put all that mixture on your stove top and cook away. You can see how I love my big stock pot. Uh, cook away. It's going to take probably about 10 to 15 minutes. You'll see. The point is, is to get this mixture uh, thick and to cook it a little bit. Now, okay, this is so exciting because, okay, 15 minutes it took me to cook it up. Oh, and I want to show you. I just tasted this. It is so good. Follow the recipe. Follow the recipe. Look at this. This even looks brilliant like real relish. So now what you're going to do is you're going to ladle it into your jars. Okay. And 
Then once we get them ladled into the jars, you are going to put them in that canner, that water bath canner, or your big pot, and you are going to process these for 15 minutes. <laughs> you know, people, I, I get so excited when it comes to canning because all this, you know, and you know what? It's not really hard work. It really isn't. It's fun. It's rewarding. Okay, look how beautiful. And like I said, look at the rich color. That's when you use real vegetables, people from the garden. That's a real live zucchini color. So you're gonna put your lids on. I soaked my lids in hot water, so they're nice and gummy. Just put those in or on, and then we're going to water bath. Okay, I am in my favorite spot in the whole house, the pantry. And I'm all done with pulling all my relish out of the water bath canner. And look what I ended up with. 11 pints. Well, I think it was 10 pints and a, and a baby. <laughs> and a baby one. But that's okay because my husband will eat that up lickety split. People, get canning. Be creative. If you don't have a water bath canner, just buy a big pot. If you don't have a rack, use a towel. If you don't have a stove indoors and it's way too hot, do it outside. Just get out there and do something with all that zucchini. Because it's zucchini time and now is the time to start making that relish. Alright, come back for more because I'm on a canathon.